Our first example on location in a much more uncontrolled situation is where we have a bright sunlight crosslit situation, which is really great for our background because it gives us a lot of detail and a lot of beautiful trees and you can see the clouds are really beautiful. But we have a situation where our model is actually in shadow and that becomes a problem because she is going to be underexposed while the clouds in the background will be overexposed. And if you expose for the clouds, she's going to be too dark. And if you expose for her, the clouds are going to completely blow out and you're just going to have a white sky. So this is where that balancing act or that dance with the histogram comes in. You need to, on any exposure that you're testing, you need to look at that histogram and make sure that everything falls within the boundaries of the right hand and the left hand side of that histogram. You can see in this successful exposure that we've pushed the histogram as far to the right as we possibly can without having too much clipping. And on the left hand side of the histogram you'll see that the darks are not being clipped and therefore we know that we have the data we need to successfully pull off post-production on this image. But if you were looking at this image in a full screen view rather than with the histogram, you would think this isn't a very good exposure. But that histogram is what's telling you whether or not this is a successful ambient exposure. And in our case, it is. When we have the luxury of actually lighting our model, we then now just need to get an ambient exposure to start and our only concern with the ambient exposure is the background. We don't need to worry about the model at this point. So we're going to do that histogram dance with just the trees and the clouds in the background. And as long as the histogram shows us that we have plenty of information in the trees and plenty of information in the clouds, we can do whatever we want within that histogram and expose that background exactly the way we want it. Then we're going to add those lights and we won't change the exposure on the camera at this point. If we have a problem with our exposure, we're going to change it in the power of the flash. So you can see how important the histogram is, especially on location, because we have less control out there over our light than we do in the studio. I have an assignment for you, and that is to take your camera out into a pretty wide latitude situation where you have really dark darks and really bright highlights. And I want you to take a series of exposures from very, very dark, so it's clipping, to very, very light, so that it's clipping on the other side and you get lots of, lots and lots of those exposure highlight warnings. And then I want you to keep those images because later on, we're going to use those images in Lightroom to teach you what your camera is really capable of. And stay tuned for our next video where we're going to show you how to work in extreme latitude situations and make beautiful images, both landscape and portrait. And we're going to do that by using HDR. And yes, I did say HDR and you can make HDR portraits. And no, they're not going to look like HDR. I'll see you then.